right now, let's move on to deep learning to replace that whole Q. It, it becomes basically the Q table. So you're letting a neural network learn to take inputs that represent the current state and then output what action it, we think it should be able to do. And it turns out it can do this much better than the Q table was ever able to do because it can learn much more compl complicated relationships. So let's start with this in Colab. I am going to run the code here to text that we are in fact in Colab, which we are. Now the state is going to basically map virtually using the neural network to the actions. We are going to use stable baselines, which is a reinforcement learning library. It's a very popular one. It's based on PyTorch. We are going to use a type called the DQN. There's a little more stuff that I need to install. All right, that's loaded. And we're going to look at cart pull. So cart pull, we'll see it in a moment, but it it's got a cart that goes back and forth and it tries to balance a pole so the pole doesn't fall off. And it can only move left or right. It, it can't actually stop. So I am going to run this code that basically sets, sets it up so we can see the, the time step. We can see basically the values that it keeps. So it keeps track of the little cart. That's the first two values, the position and the velocity. And then it also keeps track of the pole, which also has position and angular velocity. We can run this and at least see what it looks like. So there you can see the cart and you can see the pole is starting to fall over a little bit. The pole is, does have sort of a hinge attaching it to the cart. So I'm gonna run this code just so that it can get started. This is where we train it. And we create our environment and we also set up the, the model that we're, going to, that we're going to train. We learn on up to 10,000 steps, which is more than enough for this. And then we save the model just so that we can load it later if need be. We're going to evaluate it. We create the evaluation policy, all using built-in stable diffusion. And we can then see the epochs running through here. We'll let it complete. All right, that appears complete. Let's go ahead and run the, for the video. We create an environment for it and we loop through until it is complete. We set a length of how, how long we want the video to actually be and it, it goes through. And you can see there, it's doing really well. It's balancing it. It kind of moves back and forth and balances the pole. So you can see it is truly learning how to perform this. Thank you for watching the video, and uh, if this was useful, please give me a like, subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss anything else in this course.